Hey everybody, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Hello everyone. Yeah, and this is Jan and Johnny. No, no wait a minute. Oh, Jan and Johnny. <laughs> nope, Jan and Johnny. Hi. That's <laughs> us. <laughs> anyway, they showed up for a couple of days to visit with us, and they brought their really cool little 6x12 cargo conversion trailer. You're going to love this one. Let's take a look at it. So I hear right. Yes, I hear right. Through the hills and valleys and across the mountains high I don't know if I'll ever find what I've been looking for But I know I'll never want for more Yes, I know I'll never want for more All right, Johnny, so uh, tell us again the size of your trailer. Uh, it's a 6 by 12 cargo, and uh -huh. uh, it's a little over 6 feet in height inside. It's about 74 inches, I think, inside. Yeah, I noticed when I was inside it, I could, uh, without my hat on, uh, I could stand straight up and down, so that's perfect. Yeah. And I also noticed here that you've got quite a bit of clearance here uh, between the top of the tire and the fender. You want to tell us how you arrived at that? Well, when we first bought the thing, uh, typical to the 6 by 12 it had a 3,500-pound axle on it. Uh, it was a drop axle, which meant the spindle wasn't in line with the, right. uh, the axle tube. And, and uh, so need more ground clearance because we, we go to uh, National Forest, and the roads and those things aren't that great. So uh, I put the, the axle on the bottom of the springs rather than leaving it on top like it came from the factory and after about 7,000 miles I found out I had, had bent my drop part of the axle and I wore a tire out and so we limped on back to the house and and uh, I ordered a, a straight axle but it's a 6,000 pound axle now good so it's just a straight uh, tube with the spindles welded in it and uh, and bigger tires, the next size up tires, 225 rather than the 205s that came on it. And it, it tracks good, it tows good, doesn't wobble, so I'm, I'm really pleased. So that gave you, uh, that made it a whole lot tougher uh, considering the areas that you go into. Right. And in addition to that, now you've got a whole lot more clearance, so, because yeah. uh, I, yeah. I remember you telling me that uh, you went into some pretty rough terrain in some spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we drug it through some pretty pretty deep washes and some roads to get yeah. in, and and I've got about 18 inches of clearance. Well, let's step up here to the to the uh, to the front part because I noticed this, and we'll talk about this a little bit more. Of course, we know you've got a propane bottle there, and we'll talk about what that's to, what that is uh, providing propane for on the interior of the trailer here shortly. But what really caught my eye is the way you have. Uh, have the tongue of your trailer set up here and I see there is no ball mount right now so if you <laughs> right. tell us about that well I keep that in here yeah and that way it'll just make it tougher for somebody to steal my trailer right. if they want it they'll get it but that's that's my effort to, to make it difficult for somebody to take it away from me while we're because, I mean, we'll leave it in the National Forest and we'll go scouting around, touring around, you know, and, and uh, uh, of course anybody can break in it or whatever, but it's just going to be harder to take it away from me anyway. Fantastic. So, so Fantastic. obviously this, this goes on in and goes through the hole and, right. and I've got my uh, safety chains to where I can take them off too. Fantastic. And they just snap back on. got both of them but uh, if you got safety chains on it even if you don't have this they can just take wrap the chains around their ball and you know drag it off somewhere convenient for them and so that's that's just my effort to do that well I think that's a pretty good theft deterrent that's one of the best I've seen so far so they do have to jump through a lot of hoops if they wanted to take it away from you right and I'll do a close-up here of how the uh, how that uh, J hook uh, is that a J hook? We call it a J hook, right? Where it slips onto your uh, little chains coming off of there, right? And then, of course, you have two of those, so you have two safety chains, right? And they've got the latch kits on them, so right. they don't fall off, right? Right, 
fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Okay, well this is where you got your power coming in from the from the uh, shore power. Right. And uh, you have a 20 amp setup, is that right? Right, it's yeah. just a 20 amp setup. Uh, Amazon is, is real handy for, <laughs> for things like that. Yeah. And, and you know, it's just a, a, right. a regular extension cord. Right, let me get a close up of, the, of this here so we can show them that it is truly a a standard RV style, I'm getting the shadow of the camera, that's a standard RV style uh, 20 amp power inlet that you've got going on there. All right. Yeah. So uh, I plug it up. This is just a, a residential in use cover they call it. Uh, and I, I did that because inside the little thing I got from uh, Amazon you can actually see through it. It's not a sealed unit. Mm -hmm. and We've been in some pretty good rain, so I wanted something to make sure water didn't get back in there, and, and, and I not know about it. So I understand. Uh, I put the in-use cover on; it snaps down, and uh, it's a done deal. Fabulous! Yeah, well, that, that's really neat the way you did that to give it that added uh, protection from from moisture, right. which is important. <laughs> of course, before we go around and start talking about the interior. Well, we'll talk about your windows here a little bit, and you've got, uh, this is a, like a 12 by 24 right. window. Right. And obviously it uh, it's mounted between the studs. It fits and just perfectly. Yeah, it fits That's perfectly in there. So you didn't have to worry about uh, uh, cutting a stud in order to no. make it fit. No. And that's good. And then, of course, you've got your little air conditioner right here. Yeah. What now size that, is that? It's an LG 5000 BTU, uh -huh. uh, right out of Home Depot, and uh, for that I did have to cut a stud, and I took some more inch tubing and just welded in a, the, the, the square that uh, the air conditioner needed to sit in. Okay. Uh, shoved it in, screwed it in on the inside. Of course, I've got it all sealed up. I, when, I, when I cut the hole out, uh, I left the siding long and, and just folded it back in on itself and sealed it all up good so moisture wouldn't uh, run on up in there. This actually doesn't have any silicone on the outside. I do have it on the inside but okay. so water would just run out if it, if it came down the sides. Right. The angle is just my thinking that I was going to put a cover on this thing for when it rained and we weren't using it maybe in the winter time or going down the road but uh, it hadn't leaked and and honestly I'll probably never put a cover on it. Okay. So. Well it, it doesn't stick out that far at all. I no, mean it really uh, looks... It, it uh, doesn't. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's not as far out as the fenders so there you I, go. I don't have to worry about it. Right. And then of course now this uh, this that we see right here, this outside vent, uh, that's for your little heater, which we're going to talk about on the it inside. It is. It's a right. vented propane heater. That way I didn't have to worry about the carbon monoxide buildup in it. Right. And uh, this is actually a, a sidewall vent for a pellet stove, uh -huh. a wood, wood burning pellets, and uh, it's stainless and uh, it, it won't rust or anything. So. I got that from Amazon again. They, they really hated when I got through building my trailer. Uh, but it works. No, no rain comes in the summertime when we take the heater out. I'll stuff a rag up in there or something, piece of screen, and uh, keep the bugs out. So it, it's worked out really well so far. Fantastic. Of course, you have another uh, window about the same size in your door on yeah. the other side, on yeah. your side door. And uh, now it's a stationary window, right? Right. It this one lifts up and down. There's a screen down here on this part, sure. and of course we replaced the uh, the vent in the top with the cheap version of the fantastic fan. So we can we can pull air through, but we can't turn it around and and, and blow it from the top. But uh, mm -hmm. it it keeps the the air circulating, and it Good. really works well. Good, fantastic. Well, let's step on around here to the back. And this is one of the coolest features that I like about your trailer. And I see you've already got these six by six posts standing here. And right, there's a they're reason for that. They're strategically placed and, yeah. and they'll, they'll fit the things. Okay, there, here you go. Uh, this is my patio and my cook station when the weather's right. Yeah. And, uh, We've got a, as seen on TV screen, that'll actually cover the whole thing. It's actually too big for this. It's made for like an eight foot sliding door or something. Uh -huh. And so we have to pleat it, but uh, 
it, 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 it'll do a good job of keeping the bugs out when we have to have it. We don't put it up unless it's just absolutely necessary. It's a lot of fun to put the chairs out here and uh, sit and listen to the wildlife and that kind of thing. You My bet. wife is crazy about listening to coyotes howl. So, yeah. uh, this is a great place to do it because when you close up and you get in there, we're just to back up a little bit, uh, we gave up tent camping to do this for various reasons. Uh, mainly we're getting old, but uh, <laughs> in the tent you can hear just all kind of things. But in here with the insulation and stuff, you don't hear much when you when you talk about coyotes howling and things like that. So yeah. it's, it's great to, to sit out in the evening and, and listen to them uh, right before a rain or something, they'll let you know that it's going to rain. So uh, it's 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 a good thing. We enjoy it. Well, that's just as neat as can be. I really do like that. Now, uh, if you don't mind, Johnny, why don't you step over here to my left, and uh, we'll talk about uh, Get first. Me out of it. No, yeah, but uh, <laughs> this uh, this is your fridge here. Yeah, uh, little twelve volt Alpha Cool, and. Uh, I'm, I'm sure your viewers have have heard of and probably watched Slim Potato Head. This is his fault that I've got this. That, that's Slim Potato Head's fault that you own. Right. Uh, he he got one and, and tested it. He, he had a little Dometic cooler or something that that uh, you know would only cool so far below ambient temperature and it wasn't working out for him. So he got one of these and, and you can actually freeze stuff with this thing. And it's got a little compressor. It's 12 volt or 120 volt operated. No and, kidding. Uh, and it, it it suits us. It works out really great. We still bring an ice cooler for uh, ice chest for uh, you know, a lot of drinks getting cold at the same time. But uh, for our perishables, mayonnaise, butter, steaks, uh, we we keep them in here, and and it works out really well. Fabulous, fabulous. Now let's talk about your uh, huge. <laughs> you're here and we talked about that a little bit and yeah you, you told we me did. you're fixing to make some changes on that down the line yeah but you've got a huge uh, uh, inverter inverter here I do and uh, so tell us uh, tell us about that well my ambitions overloaded my knowledge <laughs> uh, when I when I bought this thing and uh, well when we tent camp we had a, 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 a 2000 watt inverter that uh, I put two batteries in the truck and, and we would run them off of the truck and so I decided well you know maybe I need a little more power well I don't really need a little more power and uh, this thing's just really too big mm -hmm. uh, to run a 3000 watt with with lead acid batteries, I've got a gel battery that's a 200 amp hour battery, and mm -hmm. uh, but but to really run it like it ought to be, I would need three of those batteries, mm -hmm. and that's not going to happen. I, okay. I can tell you, I just don't need that much battery, and I don't need this much inverter, so I'm probably going to drop it and and uh, put a 2000 or maybe a 2200 on there or something. Okay, okay, a little yeah, more I'm practical. And there's no need to look at it, but in this compartment here, this is where you have your uh, 200 amp hour Renogy, ba Renogy battery. Yeah, right it's, a it's a gel battery. I've got a, right. a, a battery charger in there that uh, runs, because all my lights, I've got a lot of stuff that are uh, only 12 volt, and when we're plugged into shore power, the, the battery charger keeps right. it topped off, and, and uh, then when we're out in the National Forest with no power, I've got a a little 2000 watt Honda knockoff generator that works really well to keep it charged up. All right. Well, what we're going to do next, because uh, I know everybody's going to want to see how you uh, uh, arrange to sleep in it at night. <laughs> so we're going to uh, take a short break here. We'll come right back and we're going to get all set up where we can show everybody how the bed drops down. Good deal. All right. Be right back, folks. Okay, so here we are at the back of the trailer, uh, and I'm standing on the very end of the deck here, uh, <laughs> so I can get a good shot of this. But uh, Jan and Johnny are going to demonstrate how their bed drops down here. All right. First, you take the little cotter pin out. Yeah, let put me get it right a, there well, so you don't. Put, if you put put okay. that back in again, right. let's give them a close up he, of that. He drilled a little hole in the end of the bolt. Yeah, it's just so a carriage bolt that I put through a two by four that I've got on the edge sure. of the 
That's to keep it from slipping out when we're traveling there down the go. road. And that's just a regular rasp type uh, uh, just, uh, hinge there, big, big Yeah, hinge. just old strap hinge. Uh -huh. I moved it over a little bit. I wanted it closer to this so I wouldn't have to have such a long boat. But right. I wanted to make sure it was in the, the stud. metal stud so gotcha. it wouldn't just pull out of the sheet rod. Now, do you have one like that on the other end mm -hmm. as well? I do. Okay, mm -hmm. good deal. Now, it right. wasn't quite long enough for my 8-inch thick mattress, and so I welded a washer on the end of it. I got you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. every little bit counts sometimes. All right, now hang on just a minute. Let me get positioned here again, back here at the back of the deck. Okay. No further. On, on your <laughs> on your patio. Now we're ready. Okay. Now we can Are see we how ready? it drops down. All right. <laughs> also, sure. I might add, all of our linens, the extra blankets and what have you, are stored in that chest. Okay. And then that drops down. And wow, there now you've got, got now you've got a full size bed. Yeah, full back size here. bed. Isn't right. that something? Pillows, That's, we usually sleep with a head up there. Yeah. I don't know why, but we do. Well, Works great for us. Why, sure, absolutely. And like you were telling me yesterday, now you've got a little ledge here. Bedside table. And, and a, yeah, like a bedside table. Extra and, blanket, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah, for an extra blanket. Because it was 16 whatever. degrees the other night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cold. how did y'all fare with the temperature? We did down great. So low? We did great. Good. We, we slept, we actually slept with the vent open. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. yeah. Well, well, we're going to talk about why you had to do that here in just a little bit. <laughs> and then you've got another uh, ledge so over here as well. Both yeah. of us, that's where I put yeah. my cell phone and what have you. Yeah. Lay my house coat there so I can get it quickly. And Fantastic. Works out great for Fantastic. us. Fantastic. All right, well, we'll let we'll you put, put it the back, up. back up. Yeah. Oh, and I'm backing up here, making sure I don't oh. step off. Hardest part is tucking the blanket in. Uh-huh. There you go. We're ready to hit the road. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that's just so cool the way that works. And uh, it's kind of nice up under the bed. We can put anything that's in the way up under the bed, uh -huh. out of the way. So, yeah. Computer works bag. Great for we, us. Usually, we usually have a dirty clothes hamper we keep in here, but you didn't need to see our dirty clothes. <laughs> so, we <laughs> put it in the back of the truck. So, now you're going to show us how the table works, right? Well, yeah. I uh, robbed a. Uh, a card table uh -huh. got me a couple of legs and I put these braces on to kind of stiffen the plywood sure so when big boy got on them it didn't you know sink in the middle <laughs> and uh, I had this space that I needed something we needed to, a table anyway so uh, piano hinge piece of plywood a little formica yeah and uh, set our chairs up here yeah on this end that end uh, somebody can sit right here. We have company. Yeah, and again, Home Depot to the rescue with some spring-loaded sash locks, uh -huh. and they hold things up really well. We there you uh, go. We we they don't keep enough, so we had to go to two different Home Depots to get enough to do the <laughs> the cabinets and stuff too. Just for fun, so we put this map on here just to right. Sometimes I can't remember where. Kansas is and Texas is and who's next to what, so that helps us out. Yeah. Well, you guys travel so much all the time, it's a wonder you keep everything straight. You know, you've been so many places. <laughs> it is a I, can't, I can't remember. The, Love the, the West, though. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I understand. First I understand. trip out, we, we took uh, almost 8,000 miles and, and uh, covered 11 states, and we've always gone camping out west and uh, love it out here, so. Uh-huh. Here we are anyway. I don't yeah. know if he told you, but we I call this the goose. You call this, so the, no, he never the, told this is the goose. The, the gray goose. The you gray goose. The gray goose. Well. I didn't know that was the name of the liquor. But anyway, yeah, okay. <laughs> somebody told me. But the goose did great on our first trip, our Fantastic. first maiden voyage. Fantastic. And then, of course, you got these overhead cabinets here. Yeah. Yeah. Same sash locks and... Uh, his clothes. His and my clothes. Uh -huh. My clothes. Yeah. And little incidentals and... Hooks everywhere. You got to have a hook for oh, everything. Oh yeah, you got to have hooks, and uh, absolutely. And of course, now if anybody wants to know what time it is, that's what time it there is you right go. there. My three dollar Walmart clock. All right. Well, let's step on up here a little bit. And uh, this is this is one of the things that really got me going when I first met you <laughs> when you first got here was your little heater here. And so, uh, Johnny or or Jandy the one, tell us about your heater. Well. 
I there's think another it's the cutest thing going. Yeah, it, it it works really well. I'll I'll tell you that right off. Uh, there's another YouTube channel guy uh, gone again mm -hmm. that I'm sure a lot of your viewers have seen and uh, and, and listened to. And he's the reason I've got this because uh, he put one in his six by ten. He lives up in Montana somewhere, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, he showed a little video of him heating his trailer up when it was minus fifteen degrees one day. Wow! And he had it seventy something degrees in there, so I figured plenty of heat. And it's it's actually a it, the name of it is a new way. N U W A Y. Okay. Uh, the W is capitalized. I don't know. It's just it's written all in one word. So, but uh, at any rate, they they make these things. This is the smallest one they make, and they make them. They're a, they're a company up north. Uh, they make them to uh, heat uh, the the ice fishing houses that you see them pulling out onto the lake and mm -hmm. you know staying out of the wind. And it works great. It's got a it's and it's strictly little, propane, right? It's strictly propane, right. no okay. wood or anything. Mm -hmm. And it's got a, a thermocoupling in it to where if the flame goes out, it cools off. It shuts the gas off, and uh, so there's. Let me see if I can get a close up of. Uh, right. how so there's there's no worry about uh, okay. the thing going off and, and filling up with gas. Uh -huh. Although I do have a an explosive gas detector there, uh, gotcha. just in case because. This this uh, this hose is just routed across the top of the cabinet, down the back wall, into the floor, and then out to the tongue, right. and uh, sealed up with some sealant. And, and I decided to go this route rather than than hard plumb it with copper, because during the summertime we'll take this off, and I'll just run this back through the hole and tie it up in the inside the cabinet. I'll put my little refrigerator up here. It's a little more convenient than back there. Sure. So. Uh, gives us some room, and then <laughs> a little novelty item that I yeah, now that got me going too when you had that thing running the other day. But you got to have the heater going before it starts running. Right, right. right. Yeah. It's heat activated. There's a little uh, some kind of thingamajig in there that uh -huh. when it gets hot, it makes enough electricity to make this thing spin. Can so. I spin it sideways? So sure. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You see the little white thing uh -huh. in there. And right. And uh, this is just all on an aluminum extrusion, and, and it gets mm -hmm. it gets really hot. And the yeah. only way you can pick it up with this, for some reason, this doesn't get that hot. Really? But uh, the rest of it, you don't want to touch it. And then this is the yeah. box that it came in. Yeah, right this here, is the right? box so that it came for in. For reference for our viewers, it's a Thomerson. Uh huh. And uh, I don't. It wasn't that expensive. I think maybe thirty-five dollars or so. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Well, it's just neat as can be, and I, I couldn't get, when I first saw that, I was looking for a connection somewhere where you might have some wires connected to it, and it was just running all by itself, and then I thought, well, maybe it's battery powered, and then uh, then you told me how it works. Yeah, and it makes a big difference. It obviously gets hotter up here in the front and stays cooler in the back, uh -huh. and uh, with that thing going, it, it's, it's still hotter up front and cooler in the back, but it's less cool in the back. Right. So, uh, it, it makes it, you know, really it bearable. Works well. so Fantastic. Works well. Yeah. Of course, you got overhead cabinets above here. Right. And, uh, that's that's the the this pantry. Is the pantry and, and uh -huh. pots and pans. I don't cook much. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> we we eat out a lot. Uh, Do you, well, yeah. I uh, will mention. I'm guilty the, of that too. The finish here, which is one of my favorite things. Yeah. He put this back here to keep the heat in just in case it got so hot but it stays right. cool mm -hmm. even when the heater's really going yeah. it stays cool even sure. when this thing's wide open it gets a little warm up on top here uh-huh and uh, the, the the stainless steel thing comes through and then this little ring is part of a thimble I think mm -hmm. they call it that uh, again I got it Home Depot and it, it goes through it was made for like a six or eight inch wall and I just cut the back off of it uh -huh. so that I'd have a uh, a little air gap between the insulation that I had to cut to mm -hmm. get through and all of that. So uh, it, it gets a little warm, but not not hot, hot enough not to hot. even. Sure. I mean, you can put your hand up there and, and never move it. So I understand. And then then the countertop here. Well, over here it's for mica, uh -huh. but I knew I was going to put this thing on this, and uh, so I got. Uh, Home Depot has a, a roll of galvanized flashing that's. 
Well, it's Cheap. this wide, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. that that wide, and uh, comes in 10 and 25 foot rolls, and uh, I use contact cement to put it down, and it's it's worked great. Great. My wife stuck little magnetic hooks on it. Makes a great backsplash. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you got it. You got it's it. It's magnetic. You, right. And every hook, I know somebody that camps will understand. You got to have hooks for everything. Absolutely. And Absolutely. so I've got my hooks, and that also is wonderful. When we go places, we always buy the magnets so we can remember where we were and when we were. Right. And so my plan is to go enough places to cover this with my magnets. I hear you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do next year <laughs> for space. <laughs> well, and, and we're also, we've talked about this already, we're going to try to meet up somewhere down the road when Deb and I are able to get back on the road traveling again. So, yeah. uh, and I'm looking forward to that for sure. So yeah. you used uh, the flashing material for the countertop here where the heater just, sets right, right behind you. Right. And backing, you also used it for all of the, the backsplash. Yeah. And then of course you've got uh, for Micah here. For Micah here. Now, right if now. you and then, yeah, let's talk about your sink. Yeah. This is one of my favorite things. I uh -huh. told him I had to have a sink. Uh -huh. You have to have a sink. Uh -huh. And so we didn't want a great big thing. I wanted as much counter space as I could have. And I was trying to do it cheap. And and I didn't we were, want to buy you know, a $200 bar sink. I understand. And so we bought a bowl from Walmart. Uh -huh. I think it's for $11 or yeah, something $11 like that. $11 mixing bowl. But then he, you might want to look. Yeah. He put in the drain and what have you, and I can seal it up, wash dishes or whatever. I washed Fantastic. my hair this morning. And uh, and then it goes down here, mm -hmm. just into a catch bucket. Right. And uh, then you get then rid that of sink, that. You can lift that sink right out, too. You it's can, set up you where can you take can it out and yeah. change it if you want to. Sure. And I clean around the edge. Don't want to get it wet because mm -hmm. it's in plywood. Right. So you dry that. Mm -hmm. Then my other favorite thing, this is absolutely the best. <laughs> okay, this is our water supply. Uh -huh. And we usually keep two jugs down here. One will do a week for us, easy. Yeah. But we weren't gonna be gone that long, so mm -hmm. we just put one in. When you need water, you just push this little thing. And then when you wanna turn it off, you push it again. Yeah, and that's what really that's got me, the, the fact that that's, that's an ele a little electric pump that mounts on top it of it. It is. Uh-huh. And um, I think we got that, what, Johnny, at Amazon got also? Amazon, too. Oh, Amazon! Yeah. Amazon's great. <laughs> and it's got a built-in battery, and it charges through a USB port. Through a USB so. port, right? Yeah. 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 It's and like it, you charge your phone. It'll, yeah, it'll like last charge the charges probably like six weeks. We camped six weeks at a, one time, and... It lasted it. the whole time. Yeah, didn't have to wow, charge it. Wow, fa fantastic! So and then when you get another bottle of water, you just simply take it we off. We go to that Walmart. One. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we just lift it off, put yeah. a regular cap back on it, sure. take it to Walmart, fill it up for just a couple of dollars. Fantastic! And you're good to go. Well, it, I think that's the coolest so that little it, thing. It, it, it really it is. I really uh, like that it. sure beats uh, the, having the pump thing where you got to pump it. Yeah, well, and all that, you we know, thought about putting a large bottle up here, but then you don't have any counter space. Yeah. And you have to keep it clean and what have you. It's in the way. Sure. So this was a, a good answer yeah, for I us. I got you. And I, and I didn't want tanks up under it to be freezing because we have camped in 16 degree weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did that just last a uh, couple nights ago. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, for so, sure. We yeah. got storage all the way up under here. A lot of, lots of stuff. Trash yeah. cans. Garbage. Lots of stuff. She yeah. wants the only the only thing that she's really found that she wants me to modify. If you can call it that, the only thing is, is she wants a, a shelf, half shelf, up under, up under there, here, uh -huh. just you know, back in that corner, just to keep from having to stack. She stuff. stacks stuff up, and then to get anything on the there. bottom, you got to unstack I everything. Gotcha. So well, that makes sense. It yeah. sure but does. Other than that, we got an air conditioner. Yeah, here, air conditioner, microwave. Don't have a stove top, but I could have a small stove top if I want Or an induction one. top or something. But yeah, if I have one, I have to cook, so. We, we use an induction top and we love it. Yeah. 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 That's what we use for all of our, all of that kind of cooking is an induction yeah. top. And it, it's fabulous. It's yeah, fantastic. I'm liking to go eat out or picnic out, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to do a lot of cooking. I understand. Uh, she so. did. Uh, and I and then we bought foam on Amazon and my wife sewed these uh, yeah. covers with fabric that she bought on Amazon. And, <laughs> 
are we advertising for Amazon? Well, I think I uh, most of our viewers, that everybody, <laughs> you know, the, the go-to place they for know. us when we were building ours was e-trailer, Amazon, Home Depot, Home Depot. Lowe's. That's pretty right. much. You that's, know, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're having our UPS guy over for Thanksgiving next year. <laughs> <laughs> He's our new best friend. He's family now. I understand. Yeah, but when we got to know our UPS guy and uh, and our mailman and everybody so well, and they'd always say, well, well how far did you get on it today? And they always had to come and visit yeah. a little bit. But anyway, well, this has just been fantastic, and I really appreciate you all letting us do the tour. And uh, we're looking forward to meet, uh, seeing you all again down oh, the road sometime. Oh, we'd love to do that. You get to Mississippi, we'll come meet you. Well, we're, we're, we're definitely coming through Mississippi, and you're going to be my go-to, it's folks. Nice it's a nice to place. Tell me, tell me where to go and the, and the things sure. to do. So, sure. absolutely. And uh, I know we're going to be in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, uh, the first week in October. Definitely yeah. like to be down so there then. Yeah. You all need to come down and see us then. Well, that's Thank just you. a few hours away. There you we, go. We have been known to drive down there just to eat dinner and spend the night and come back. <laughs> We, we like to eat, can you tell? Uh, yeah. Well, I have a favorite restaurant that I want to take you all to when okay. we're down there. And we'll sit out on the balcony and and, uh, and look at the ocean. And hopefully hey. a thunderstorm will develop just off. Of way, the, off yeah, way, way off so we yeah. can watch the lightning show. But That's anyway, great. we're going to let you go for now. We really enjoyed visiting with you, uh, Jan and Johnny. And uh, uh, Deb, she stayed up at the trailer. Uh, I know. Because, okay. well, she's fixing to give you all a tour okay. here yeah. in a little bit. And, uh, but anyway, we're going to go, and uh, here's what we have to say, and you know what our tagline is. <laughs> this is Bill and Jan and Johnny saying we're not camping. We're living it. You bet. All right. You all take care. Thank all you. Right. We'll see, we and, enjoyed it. Yeah, and we'll see everybody again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.